Hey guys, and welcome back to Starting Out Solitary. My name is Amanda. I am your Tuesday host. Um, this week we are talking about our regrets, and I have a couple. <sighs> Sorry, I like I'm just trying to get all my thoughts together. Um, so my first regret would be when I actually started and I found this path would be when I was 16 years old and when I was 16 years old I read and read and read and that's all I did 16 17 18 19 I just read and my biggest regret is not practicing during that time and most of the reason why I didn't practice is because I was afraid um I didn't feel I was good enough to I uh, during that time I also felt like I needed a teacher I couldn't be a witch I couldn't be pagan I couldn't be anything without a teacher um that it was it was a lot because I would not practice because I'm like oh a teacher didn't teach you or you don't have enough information or you weren't taught the right way and you can't do this because you don't you don't want to disrespect something you don't want to pull something into your house and all this other stuff even though my parents gave me free reigns I could let lit candles burn herbs done whatever my parents wouldn't have cared I still didn't have confidence inside myself and plus being a um, lame 16 year old there was no confidence there anyways <laughs> Um, so that was one of my biggest regrets. Um, I didn't, until, like, just recently, I didn't actually start practicing until my first son was born, which was it, almost two years ago now. Um, and that's a different story. I'll share that on my personal page if I ever decide to share it. But, um, it was an amazing experience. I literally got connected with the God and Goddess, um, spirits, whatever was around me at that moment, literally, like, drove me to practice, and, um, like, it, like, almost dissipated my fear. I, I, I'm still afraid of doing stuff, but it's mostly, if I don't try it, I'm not gonna know, and that, that's also another thing I have regret with. I, I, have a lot of fear, but at the same time, I am in so much amazement at it. So it's kind of, it's self-work that I need to go through and stuff like that. I know I can do it and stuff like that. It's just kind of weeding out my blockages at the moment, um, which is a process, but I'm working on it. I'm not doing so bad at it. Uh, another regret is my journaling. Oh, God, do I suck at journaling. And for the longest time, like, when I was 16, I would write all this stuff down. But I thought I needed, like, 16 different journals, and they had to be certain colors to correspond with what I was doing, and blah, 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 this and that. And then, finally, I was like, fuck. And that's pretty much how it went. And when I started, when I got, when I was, like, 19, I ended up, trying to make a grimoire and I was obsessed with this idea that I needed a grimoire and I was obsessed with the idea that I needed a book of shadows otherwise I won't be a real witch and I was like trying to organize all my notes and stuff like that and that just didn't go so like literally the other day I just said whatever I literally have a notebook and I'll have some writings for symbols and stuff I've looked up or moon phases or whatever and then I'll have a couple spells I'll have workings and stuff and then I'll have some journal pages and whatever and it's just a mishmash but the thing is I find that the chaos kind of relieves the stress of like oh crap I have to go find this book with this red pen and blah 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 I just I just write I don't I write my dreams in the same book. I don't have it in any particular order. I feel that the chaos actually calms and soothes the chaos that is inside my brain. So it kind of nulls each other out. Another regret I have is I really wish I could say I've started practicing when I was 16 years old. I know I started reading and stuff, but I did not practice. I wish I could say I have all this experience behind me, but I don't. I mean, it will come in time, and I know that, but at the same time, I'm like, I started reading this stuff at 16. I should have had practice since I was 16 years old. I should have knowledge and experiences to share with you guys, and I don't. And even though, like, even not sharing with you guys, I wish I had that for myself because now I'm learning, and then I'm like, crud. I have kids that I want to teach to, and, like, by the time they're ready to, Will I have enough knowledge, which I probably won't teach them until they're about 16 years old, but I will slowly grow with them in it, hopefully, is the plan. So, that's another. Um, anything to do with spell work? Um, I think my biggest regret was, I think it was almost two years ago, three years ago, somewhere in that timeline, 
probably three years ago because last year I did one and it worked pretty well. I did my first ritual and I did it and I felt good and at the end it wasn't. Like there was something that snapped inside of me. It's like you shouldn't have done that kind of thing. And it, all it was, it was a Sabbath ritual and it was kind of like dedicating myself to the craft because I'm like, okay, I'm ready. But at that moment, I didn't feel ready after doing the ritual. I, after going through it and even though I felt it and I had the presence there of the spirits and stuff, it was not what I was expecting. It wasn't right. There was something off about it. Um, so I've never actually had like a really bad outcome. Like I've had spells that haven't worked properly, but ended up turning out in my favor. I've also had spells that just didn't work. I've also had spells that just said fuck you and but I don't regret those like there's not really a big regret it's mostly how I've actually gone through my practice is where my biggest regret lies but other than that I mean I've made my share of mistakes but I don't regret like half of them at least I mean I'm not going to name off every single one of them but those are pretty much my biggest regrets that I can think about is pretty much that I wish I had the years of experience that I know I should have had um, also, like, my learning process and not the fail of practicing and, um, and then that one ritual that, like, totally made me feel ick for weeks that I regretted. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below and I will answer them as soon as I can. But until next time, you guys, blessed be.